Hey guys, it's Quinn here from Toxic Addiction, showing you the basics on how to use um, Sony Vegas Pro 10. So if we get if we get started here, I'm just doing uh, the video that I last posted or am going to post uh, on how to use the green screen feature in Sony Vegas Pro 10. So the basics of this is pretty much just adding media, right? So if you get started, I've already opened something, so that's just simply pressing this and then picking one of these videos or picking one of your videos or um, multiple pictures or whatever, and then you can just add transitions between them. So then what I'm going to want to do is file import another piece of media so that just puts another piece of media in and I'll just put my intro in here uh, I don't know if this is a no that's not it so Sorry guys, um, there it is. It'll experience some lag, like right now it's saying it's not responding, but it usually jumps back pretty quickly, like that. So, you'll see that there's two separate pieces of video here, right? And then if you want to make it so that one is like faded into the other, you'll see here that there's a minute or 1.28 seconds, I think, of like overlapping video. Right now there's like 29 or whatever. So that's overlapping video. I'll show you an example. So I'll start to play it. And if you look up here, it fades. Right now it's lagging quite a bit because, well, it's so neat, Vegas. Because you'll notice that when, it's, when you're trying to watch a preview of your video, a like to um, Windows Live Movie Maker, it pretty much does not let you see what you've just uh, made. So that's pretty much it so far. And then to crop and stuff, you click, I'll just do that as an example, and it just showed up on my other monitor there. Um, so, yeah. okay, no, that was the wrong button, sorry guys. Uh, <laughs> You open in Trimmer, so that's just right-clicking on it and going to the very top, and then you'll see this little screen pop up, and to use that, it's all just, like, moving this along, and then, like, so this is where it'll start now, where that yellow thing is, and that's where it'll end now, but I'm not going to apply that. And I do not know what just happened. And more lag. <laughs> that might just be be because I'm running um uh, the video recording thing with this as well. So usually I don't experience as much lag when I edit my videos. So that's pretty much just intro and then the main body. Right, and you know they're lined up when it makes a triangle, like one big triangle, not just two small ones. So if it's like that, they're not attached, there'll be a break for like a millisecond or whatever, or just a black screen, and you don't really want that, because it doesn't look that clean. And then to like see your whole video, just scroll out, and see, 
absolute parts of it like this for like sound editing and whatever and like doing little co color corrections and stuff uh, you just zoom in so then once you're done that you are probably done and then you just do the same you can make you can put in an outro back here so then what you're going to want to do you could look at my other video how to render in sony vegas pro 10 or just watch the rest of this so then you go to file uh if you're not done just click save and then you can open it as a as like a sony vegas file not a video yet so then you just click render as and then just name it Save it as a WMB file and click save. Then you'll notice that this screen pops up and it says rendering green screen how to. That's why I just named it. And there's it usually takes a long time, so this is like almost four minutes, so it might take an hour or two. So usually I render it overnight or well I'm out of the house just so that it doesn't run my the rest of my computer really slow and you'll see at the time just gaining right there and then elapsed time how long you have been running it it's still at zero percent so that's about it uh, I hope this helped uh, thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe okay that's it bye guys